and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I am super excited to be here today. I'm excited to be here with you getting into my Mortgage Monday. I love Mortgage Monday. It's like my favorite video of the month. Um, I've been busy today, so it's kind of going up later than I hoped, but I am excited to share what I have here with you. I love seeing my mortgage um, balance drop drastically with this extra principal only payment that I do every month. I have it set up for auto, so it takes it out every month and I show you how the numbers kind of move when that happens. So I have my spreadsheet ready. I have, um, we're going to see how far ahead in my mortgage amortization schedule. Uh, I jump from uh, where I'm at right now and we're going to go through and do the new balance. So uh, I know my handwriting is horrendous. I do apologize, but I do have printed stuff out that will help here in a second. So let me go ahead and move what I printed out of the way. Okay, so let's jump in and do the numbers. So I'm going to grab my notepad here and we're just going to kind of go over how the breakdown works and we're going to see um, where I get my numbers from. Uh, I've gone online and I have looked at the numbers now that the mortgage has been paid and I can see the breakdown from there and then I show it here in my book here. So we know from last time we had 244,000 nine hundred and twenty five dollars and five cents that was the mortgage balance from last month now now that i know that that is going to be our starting point i'm going to go ahead and write it over here let's see write it again one more time two four nine two five oh five now my mortgage payment every month not all of it goes obviously to the principal a lot of it goes to the interest and the escrow so what i'm going to show you here and i'll show you my amortization schedule later is the number that actually uh, satisfied the mortgage payment the minimum amount i have to pay for my mortgage payment and this is the minimum principal payment to the mortgage so whenever i make a payment they show me what the minimum is for the mortgage and that minimum this month was $335.18. So that is what satisfied the mortgage payment. Now on top of that, and we're going to subtract that from that amount. On top of that, we also make an automated $550 a month to um, principal only payment. None of this goes to the interest. And this is how we're lowering our mortgage quickly and saving money on interest payments that we don't have to make in the future. Uh, it's, it's a blessing to do it this way. I thank God for it all, every time. And I just love seeing how the numbers move when we do this. So let's go ahead and take our calculator and find out how much the total is as far as what's left in my mortgage um, balance that we have for this month. So I have 244,925 and I'm going to subtract the $335.18. And then I'm going to subtract the $550. And that brought my mortgage down by just under $1,000, which I absolutely love to see that it's so close to $1,000 a month drop that it just it makes my heart sing. So $244,000. $39.87. Wow, that is so beautiful. Now, if I total these two numbers up together, this will give me the total principal that it dropped. So that was $335.18 plus the $550. And my total principal for the month was $885.18. So that's very close to $1,000. I'm $114 away from that. So I would say in the next few months or so I well it may take me longer than that definitely by the end of next year I'll be like dropping a thousand dollars a month I think um, that that's exciting to think my first um, mortgage payoff uh, which was in January of 2023 ignore that the stuff I was playing with this was last year this is uh, 2023 um, when the first time I did it, it was $813.33. Now I'm up to 
$85.18, and that's just been in a year and a half. So that's pretty good jump as far as principal payment with that $550 and what it needs to satisfy the mortgage. So I, I think that's really, really good. Now that I have this information, I can just kind of go right here and fill this in, $885.18, and the new principal payment is, or new balance to the mortgage. Now this is not the payoff, this is just the new balance, $244,039.87. Now I do know how much interest we paid. This time it was $1,200 and $22 and 58 cents. That's what my, uh, my, uh, my uh, mortgage lender uh, account balance says. So this is what we paid in mortgage. As you can see, every month it drops a little bit more, a little bit more. So at the beginning of the year in January, I had 1244 I was paying. I'm already down to 1222, halfway through the year. Things are changing and dropping and saving us money by saving on our interest payments. I absolutely love seeing it this way because if you don't look at how much you're saving in interest, it's hard to stay motivated to want to pay that 550 and you want to use it for other things. At least that's how it works for me. Maybe it doesn't really work that way for you, but that's how it works for me. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to get my notepad or my not my notepad, but the um, papers. And as you can see, every month I do a highlight. Um, it's either a three month jump or a two month jump. Usually it's several months of three months in a row and then it does a two month and then it balances back out to three. So we are trying to look for a number close enough to this $244,039.86. And I've come here to this point in time, which is March of 2027. Uh, this $244,066.74 was the closest, um, and the February one was too far away, and then that brought it down to 243, which is not where we're at. So this is the month I chose, so we jumped three months as expected, and yeah, I, I'm just thrilled that we have gone that far ahead. Okay, so I have a highlighter here. It's a gray highlighter. We're just going to go with it. Um, I haven't used this color I guess in a while, <laughs> so we're just gonna use it. Oh, it turned out pretty good, I like that. All righty, so we're just gonna jump ahead three months. Again, it's March of 2027, and I'm gonna to put today's month and year right here in the side, which is June 2024. Oops, not 12. I couldn't imagine carrying all that interest and paying all that extra interest and all the way to March of 2027. I'm just like, it, I, I can't do it now. I mean, this is so, so amazing to watch and how much I'm saving. So we know where we are on the amortization schedule. This is June of 2024 and we've already jumped ahead to March of 2027. That's pretty far in advance. Let's see here. All righty. So I have these sheets that I print out. This is this month's and this was last month. So I'm gonna start with last month here. So just to give you a comparison of what I have. So we have um, principal only payment back in May when we made the payment um, for the entire life of the loan, October of 2022 to May of 2024. Um, we have paid down the mortgage by $15,100 and $74.95, which is really, really good. Actual interest paid was $25,330.25. Now, in order to find out how much I saved, I have to go to my amortization schedule and look at that number. So this one was $64,420.80. You're not gonna find that exact number because what I have to do, this interest payment was not included on this amortization schedule. It was a different bank, so it had a it didn't get processed over on paper like that. So this is just from one bank. So I have to add this number in to this number here where we are on the amortization schedule, which is right here on March of 2027. So I have here 
$66,787.45. And I'm going to add the $1,298.33. And I'll just show you on the front of this, it's the same number when I copied everything over from the previous bank. That's the original loan, $260,100 starting balance. And that was the first payment we made and the first interest payment that was made. So we're still paying over $1,000 in interest every month. That'll be going on for a while to come. Um, I can't wait to see where my principal only payment is higher than my interest payment. We should be seeing that in probably in a few years. <laughs> it probably take another few years to get there. But I'm excited to get there and I am seeing the progress. So this was May. Let's go to June. And I love putting little stickers on these things. It's inspiring. This month I did uh, Faith Can Move Mountains. Um, I just, that just was so inspiring to me because it does feel like I'm moving a mountain of money <laughs> and I need the faith in God to keep moving it every month. I don't want to touch this $550. I want this mountain to move and I, keep praying that we keep being able to have that 550 available in our budget to move that mortgage and move it forward three months every time we make a payment and pay it down in the future and save on interest. So this time around we're saving on interest. Our principal payment for October to June of this year is $16,060.13. We have paid an actual interest payments, $26,552.83. I did not write down the number, but I do have the number here where we totaled, um, I meant to leave it on the, did I leave it on the calculator? No. Or did I mean to? Yeah, I meant to. Sorry about that. I just realized I didn't finish what I was saying a minute ago. 45 plus the 12, 98, 33. There we go. So this is an estimate. Now, it's not exact. We haven't quite got to that number yet. Um, we're at 39. We're actually um, paid more down than that. So this is a not exact interest. This is like a, an estimate based off numbers I already have. And I don't need the exact. The exact numbers come when we go to pay off the mortgage and that'll be a day to celebrate. So um, I use this number, $68,085.78 of interest that at this point in time of March of 2027, which is where we're at, um, we would have paid if that's where we're at, but because we didn't pay all that interest, we only paid the $26,552.83, we saved $41,532.95. So this is interest we did not have to pay, and this is future money that we get to keep <laughs> because we're not paying 30 years on a mortgage into our 80s. We are paying uh, 15 years into a mortgage into our mid-60s. So we hope to have this paid off at about 65. That is how we've calculated it. My husband turned 65 in 2038. And that is when this December of 2038 is when this mortgage is going to be paid off. So we are moving that mountain. We're trusting God in that. Faith is, can move mountains. And you only need a little, little faith in God and he can help you with the rest. So. Okay, friends, that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.